toxic individualism is a form of propaganda that is used to shift blame for systemic problems away from government, corporations, or other powerful groups, and onto individuals. One example is the origin of the word jaywalking. In the early 20th century, city streets were shared by streetcars, pedestrians, horses, and automobiles. Pedestrians were irritated that drivers often drove on the wrong side of the road, which they called jay-driving. Wealthy automobile clubs disliked having to share the roads with everyone else, so they invented the epithet jaywalker and started spreading anti-jaywalking propaganda. The concept of jaywalking blamed individuals for their carelessness to mask the fact that drivers, the auto industry, and the government were also to blame for dangers on the roads. An auto industry group went so far as to offer a wire service for newspapers. Journalists would send in the details of a traffic accident, and the next day, the service would send them a complete story ready to print, with an emphasis on blaming the pedestrians for any accidents caused. What makes toxic individualism so insidious is that it often convinces people to blame themselves for problems that they have very little to do with. This technique is effective because it lets the powers that be completely off the hook. Politicians or corporations can point fingers at individuals to distract from the fact that their decisions are often the root of our shared problems. A perfect example of this is the history of the carbon footprint. In 2005, BP, the same oil company famous for causing the largest oil spill in history, paid millions of dollars for an ad campaign encouraging people to visit their website and calculate their personal carbon footprints. It may seem counterintuitive for an oil company to encourage people to think about climate change, but that was the genius behind BP's strategy. By using the carbon footprint calculator, you were forced to think about all the ways your lifestyle contributed to the climate crisis. If all the focus is on you, then none of it is on the fossil fuel companies like BP, who go on endlessly drilling for more oil and profit. BP's campaign was so successful that well-meaning environmentalists around the world have parroted the idea of a personal carbon footprint for over a decade, many of them never realizing that they were spreading propaganda created by an oil company for free. To construct a consumer-friendly carbon calculator, you can, you can very precisely calculate what your CO2 emissions are. The COVID-19 pandemic revealed that even with the world at a standstill and millions of people no longer flying and commuting, we still weren't curbing greenhouse gas emissions enough to meet scientists' goals. It's never been clearer that individual actions aren't enough to affect global change. Climate change is a systemic problem, and it calls for a systemic solution. Only governments and energy companies have the power to make the changes we need, and only collective action is strong enough to force them to budge. Once you're aware of toxic individualism, you'll notice it all around you. Beverage companies have used it to convince people that litter is their fault, and never the responsibility of corporations selling us products in unrecyclable, non-biodegradable containers. Politicians use it to blame poor people for being poor, and people use it to blame third-party voters if their candidate doesn't win an election. Now that you know about toxic individualism, what can you do about it? Unfortunately, there are no easy answers. You can start by examining the things that make you feel guilty, or why you feel upset at certain groups of people. Ask yourself where those feelings came from, and if it's productive to continue having them. Don't let politicians and corporations scapegoat individuals for large, systemic problems that they are responsible for. Our best chance of fighting back is by participating in movements and collective actions that hold these powerful groups accountable.